forgive me for the light thing. I'm hoping you can see me from over here. Um, I'm going to run you through um, a quick little spinal movement routine. This is a beautiful one to start the day with. Um, so if everything is feeling good and you're just wanting to kind of increase that mobility, if things are a bit sore, then maybe you can start with a bit of my neck release video, or you can start with a bit of my lower back release video, and then add this one on. And you can see how I'm putting them into bite-sized chunks, so it bite-sized chunks, so it becomes kind of like a create your own adventure. You can pick this one and this one and bolt them together, and then finish with some breath work. You know, so that's what I'm hoping for. So um, you'll be probably familiar with a lot of these exercises, but I'm going to do it in standing so that you can see me. There would be nothing wrong with you doing this in high knees, high knees or sitting. It's just then when you come to the, the roll down part where we're moving the hips that you'd have to kind of accommodate for that. Standing is a great place, especially in the morning. You can do it looking out of a window, even better. Um, it's all about kind of telling you to be upright and face your day. Okay, so that's where we're, where we're at. Um, just a reminder, listen to your bodies. You know, don't go too quickly with these ones. Remember, it's mindful and you want to be feeling your feelings are your guidance system so if something doesn't feel quite right don't push through that's not what we do with mindful movement it, your body is saying to you oh i'm not quite doing that in the right way because it doesn't feel good so what i would suggest is you make the movement smaller or you go back to a previous exercise um which is a precursor which is always going to be a little bit more gentle for your body um, and that's not to say it's a lower level what you want is the right bits to move and the right bits to stay still okay so it's a lovely balance of stability and mobility and you'll hear that as i talk you through these exercises okay so to get your spine moving to feel like all those joints are limbering up to engage through those those core so i don't like the word core really but they're the muscles that wrap around the bones of your spine they help with individual twists and all kinds of stuff but they're really important in keeping you tall keeping you stable we don't think about it, but our spine's really wobbly like a spring. You're just not used to it because you're so used to keeping yourself upright. Um, so these muscles are working hard for you all day long to keep you up. They're the muscles that you rely on for your good posture. And if you're in a good posture, you can breathe better, you can digest your food better. Um, all your muscles and joints are under um, less stress and they can work more efficiently, but they're less likely to get damaged. So that core, those muscles wrapping around your spine are really important, okay? Um, all right, so let's get going. I'm going to start with something called rib cage closure arms. This is where I hit the wall in front of me. So your job is to keep that rib to hip connection, as in that this isn't going to get smaller or bigger. I'm holding on to wherever I need to hold on to to make sure I stay nice and tall. So we'll start with a breath to lift you up at the back, and then a breath to drop you down heavy at the front. A breath again to lift you at the back, and a nice heavy breath at the front. Okay, so you're going to breathe in to lift those arms up towards your ears, and then you're going to breathe out to lower those arms down. Your rib cage closure, let's go for eight of them. So as you lift up, you're going to feel maybe the armpits lift, the shoulder blades slide up, and even the collarbones at the top lift towards your ears. All of that is good. You might even feel your ribs coming apart, as in rib away from each other. But what you want to still be feeling is that you have this anchoring of your lowest part of your rib cage down into the tops of your trousers as you lift those two arms. Last couple. So what you want to make sure of is that you're not swaying forwards and back, that your chin is in, your neck is long, and you're feeling like your head is reaching the ceiling, and it's staying reaching as those arms come down. Okay, so after this one, we're gonna change it slightly, and we're gonna come into these floating arms as we pull the arms out to the side. Lift up through the chest, look up through the face, breathe in. And then breathe out to come down. So in breath, and lift the arms out to the side. Look up through the chest, through the face. Don't think too much in there. Think more about that chest lifting away from your belly button. With again, those lower ribs pulling down into the tops of the trousers. We're bringing your spine into extension. These are like your sun salutations, welcoming the day, asking for a nice bit of sunshine, a bit of warmth. Okay. All righty. So now I'm going to encourage you to add on the roll down if it feels good to. If it doesn't and it feels a bit soon for this movement, then stay with these ones. If you're adding on the roll down, the arms come out to the side, the shoulders drop, the neck is lengthening, the spine is neutral. As the arms come down, you tuck the chin, you soften that chest, and you start to roll down through that spine. I'm going to quickly turn sideways so you can see that I'm in this round shape. And then all that happens is I flex my hips go lower and dangle down. I know you've lost me off the screen, I'll flip it in a minute. At the bottom you breathe in, 
you pull the bottom down the backs of your legs to breathe out hips come up first and then you unravel through that spot let me flip the camera so that you can see what happens at the bottom hard not to get me all in so i know you can raise the bottom up so i'm going to breathe in lift up breathe out tap the chin soften that chest and start to roll down through that spot you'll start to see me come onto camera as my hips flex my knees are a little bit soft and i dangle here Take a breath in, really important. I'm coming up by pulling my bottom down, pushing those feet into the floor. Hips come up, spine comes up. And then go again, breathe in, lengthen up. Breathe out to roll down. Tucking from chin, softening from chest, rolling through that spine. Hips flex to take me lower, I keep the shape of my spine, and then I unravel. For the next two or three, let's add on the movement of the arms. So you're going to lift the arms up, lift the chest, lift the head, and then lower down. Neck lengthens, chest drops. You tuck the chin, you soften the chest down into that roll down. Rolling piece by piece, come towards the floor. It's not important whether you touch your toes. I'm not interested. I'm looking at that movement at your hips, oiling the joints, lifting the arms, look up, lowering the arms, look forwards, and then tuck the chin, soften the chest down into that roll. We'll do one last time. So rolling up, really feel that bottom as you press into the feet, get the hips up, get the spine up, lift the arms, lift the chest, lift the head, and then lower down, tuck the chin, soften the chest down into that roll down. Dangle at the bottom to breathe in. Out breath, pause the bottom down the backs of the legs, hips come up, breathe stack through your spine, chest lifts forwards, or we'll finish with an extension. Okay, and then release. So now we're gonna come in to some rotation. Using those same arms, I'm going to pick the arms up as I turn my head, my body, and my hips to look to the left. Hips come back, body comes back, head comes back, and the arms come back. I want to hit the right this time as I come up, turn my head, turn my chest, turn my hips, and then come back from my hips, from my body, from my chest. So keep going, I'll flip the camera again so you can see the bottom of the movement. When I say that my hips are twisting, it means that my thigh bones will roll. There'll be a twist at my ankles. I must come back from hips before I come back from body. Okay, keep going. What you want to do is make sure you do an even number of these ones. And that the lift and lower of your arms happens with the twist of your body. I'm twisting my body to rotate. And I'm, sorry, I'm lifting my arms to rotate and lowering my arms to come back. Okay, so now we're going to try a different kind of arms. These arms, as they come flopping across your body, let them dangle really heavy. The arm bones are rolling in and rolling out. And then add on that rotation again. Let it be really free flow. Your head moves with your body. Your hips are twisting as well. I know you can't see that in there. You've got that same rotation of thigh bones. If you do start to feel discomfort in the knees, just make the hip movement a little bit smaller. We don't really want your knees to twist. They might be feeling a little bit sore if your ankles are a bit stiff or your hips are a bit stiff. Allow this movement to flow through. Beautiful. And then what I say to stop this one is to count down. I'm going to finish with another four, but I'm not going to stop dead this movement. So two more. I'm just going to allow this movement to come back and settle me back into the middle. Beautiful. Okay, so now take those feet a little bit wider. Sometimes it can help to have a wider feet when you're rotating as well, but definitely for your side reach here. So I'm looking to bend the spine to the side now. So I'm going to breathe in as I lift that right arm up towards my right ear, left ear to shoulder, and then bend through that spine. Everything faces forwards. Take a breath in. Breathe out to restack all the way back up, and then lower that arm. You go to the other side. Left arm lifts towards your ear. Head tips, body tips. Take a breath in as you get there, and then breathe out to restack you all the way up. So really important that you're stabilising against a lean back, this one, so keeping those ribs anchored at the front. And you're also stabilising against any kind of rotation. So be cautious that that top shoulder doesn't come forwards, but that you feel like you're between two panes of double glazed glass. You can't go forwards and back. You can only go side to side. And again, you can add on with this one. Once you're over into the side reach, press your hips in the opposite direction. Bring the hips back before you restack the spine. Lower the arm. And then we go to the other side. So the arm lifts up. You dip from the head. You dip from the body. And you push your hips over to the left. 
you drag those hips back and restack. Again, if the hips feel a bit tight, this might not be a big movement. Okay, that's sway over. You must keep everything square. Just do one more. You always want to make sure you're evening yourself up with these movements. Good stuff. And after I've done all of those, so I've done flexion, I've done rotation, I've done side to side, I would personally make sure that I come back to that extension and the roll downs. And this is how I would finish this little routine with a breath in to lift my arms, lift my chest, lift my face, and a breath out to look forward, tuck the chin, soften the chest, rolling down. These roll downs give you so much length through that spine as gravity pulls you bone away from bone. But what you're really teaching your body here is to work your bottom. Back with your squats, work your bottom to get those hips back up to where they started. So I pull the bottom down the backs of my legs. I press the thigh bones back and the hips forward. Once my hips are over my knees, over my feet, my back doesn't have to do very much to unravel. Let's just go for a couple more. They feel so good. Think about the length so that you're stretching up and over something as you come down. Don't let that lower back collapse just to touch the floor. It's not important. Think about the messages you're sending your spine. And it is, can I find the roundest shape where I'm lengthened at the back and yet shortened at the front? And then can I hold on to it? I flex at my hips. Hold on to it as those hips come back to start. And then you restart. And I would always personally finish with a look up. A big breath in at the top. And then come to your neutral, lengthen up through the tips of the ears as those arms come down. We'll finish with arm movements so those arms come up and behind your head. Elbows go forward so you can lift shoulders towards ears and then drop. Reach the arm up, think long through that neck, and then release the arms down by the side. We'll do two more. Arms come up and behind your head, elbows drop forward. Shoulders to ears and then release. Reach up, keep that neck long as the arms come all the way down. Last one, can you keep that anchoring at the front as you lift up through the arms, the shoulder blades, the collarbones, hands come behind your head. Elbows are forwards, not pinned back so that I can lift my shoulders and then drop them down. I'm going to reach up and then I'm going to think long, tall, high through the top of my head as those heavy arms and shoulders drop. And there you go, there's your spine already. So thank you so much. Um, have a lovely day and enjoy them all. Bolt them together as you need them. Remember, I just want to segment them out for you so you can pick what you most need. All right, sending lots of love. See you soon.